Mm -hmm. um, the lack of awareness about uh, neurodivergence in the workplace. So an understanding of how you know, people on the spectrum can end up uh, communicating, solving problems, uh, giving feedback differently um, mm -hmm. due to a lack of education on neurodiversity. It can make functioning in a standard work environment um, a little bit explosive sometimes. Like uh, I remember right. one time I was working for Sterling and uh, I went to their manager's retreat. It was like 1,500 managers in Florida and they gave us a bunch of training and we went back to uh, back to home base and they all sent us, you know, emails to try and get our feedback on the training that we received. And it was like a feedback form and they only gave me 1,024 characters to give feedback. So mm -hmm. in, in that space, instead I wrote, you know, hey, can you give me an email address? You email me at this address and I can give you more lengthy feedback aside from right. that. I can't really give you feedback in this, you know, little, like, unless I'm doing it in haiku, you know, so right. uh, Tonka, maybe, if there's enough room. So... <laughs> Um, they went ahead and sent me, you know, the email address. And so I basically formatted, you know, a total Aspie email. It was like, um, I'm not going to address any of the, the spelling, grammatical, construction problems, the, um, <laughs> the examples that you gave that didn't actually apply to the system, any of that. Instead, because next year you're going to make a brand new training system. So trying to, you know, poke holes in anything, just maybe have a little bit more of a rigorous review process. Let right. me talk about my actual experience of being at the manager's conference. And I gave him like, you know, uh, 1,200 words, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because I'm extra. And so <laughs> they replied in this incredibly snarky way. They were like, we would like to know what, you know, spelling or grammatical or construction problems were in our, you know, are in our training documents. Uh -huh. And without thinking... I gave it to them. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> uh, I sent them a 13 page I'm email. I'm thinking they didn't like that either. <laughs> yeah, I sent them a 13 page email. I pointed out all of their, their spelling, grammatical, uh, ordinal mistakes, uh, their, their misattributed quotes, um, all of the, the screens that they used for examples that didn't actually plug into the sales system, the math problems, uh, with the problems with their math and the way that they were adding up numbers that didn't actually get to the correct answer. Um, uh, their, their page number mistakes, like all of it. And I sent all 13 pages to them and no response, of course. And then a week and a half later, I got dragged into a meeting with my DM and my VP who were like, this woman from the training department literally called us in tears and is demanding that we write you up. Okay. And so I had to like go and pull, retrieve the emails and show them and it's like, oh no, they asked on Sharp for feedback. And like the DM, like, you know, put their face in their hand. Right. And I had to agree with them that if I was going to send an email to home office, I would clear it through them first. Oh, wow. So like, you know, if, if people understand the way that people on the spectrum are and that there, yeah. there is no personal raison de trois in that, that it's just right. me trying to, uh, you know, answer the question that was posed of me. Um, and to not take it personally, like even just basic neurodivergence training, I think would address a lot of that. But glaringly, even in the, the training and the experiences and going to the retreats and stuff, you know, they had a lot of really loud music, really oppressive social environments. There was only right. like one hallway to be able to go back and forth between the different events. You had like 1500 people in the hallway and I was right. like suffering. I had like, you know, uh, ear, uh, earplugs in and I was like yeah. trying to like restrict my my visual field so that I wouldn't yeah. get an anxiety attack in between each one and there was no awareness of any of that so um I would think neurodiversity uh -huh. would be my um neurodiversity education 